Well, welcome back to this, a let's play of Baldur's Gate. And right now, you will be looking at a picture of Agentis. And as you can see on the right hand side, his portrait is back in the team and uh, Kivan is missing. Uh, now, let me explain this one before you collectively sigh. Um, when Alwyn let go of Agentis 20 days ago, it was to clear his head. Uh, he made it clear that their paths may cross again sooner or later. I think Alwyn, in truth, once he had decided to go to Cloakwood to confront whatever lies there, um, he probably always had Agentis in mind. Uh, so you might ask, hadn't Kivan proven himself? Well, yes, he had, in a sense. But while Kivan was undoubtedly talented with the bow, was he a good hand-to-hand -hand fighter? Agentis is a proven operator in all things martial. Remember how he demolished the bandit camp largely by himself? Uh, remember how he... It was, it was he who spearheaded the assault on the Null Stronghold. And as exotic and deadly a creature as Kivan was, although it's boring, Alwyn feels that you kind of know what you're getting with Agentis. Uh, yes, he's a pain with his continuous moral bashing. And what are we on now in terms of reputation? Average. Although he is a pain with that. Uh, I guess Alwyn just can't fault his bravery. Um, and from a strategic point of view, he has his advantages, and Alwyn knows this. He's a tougher uh, fighter than Kivan, more hit points. He's a better defender than Kivan. Um, he's got his buffs like Lay on Hands and Protection from Evil uh, that make him just a very nasty and difficult opponent for the enemy. I suppose. With Helm's blessing. Um, he can really get up in the face of the enemy and occupy them, and, and, and Agentis is really keen to do that. Um, he wants to see the whites of their eyes, and while the rest of the group dips into their spellbook um, or pummels them from range, Agentis is kind of occupying, soaking up the punishment. He's, he's got stickability. He is, to use that gaming term, more of a tank. And, and that just works better strategically. And, and that's not me saying that from a gameplay point of view. That's Alwyn thinking that. Um, you know, I, I would have been happy with Kivan, absolutely, because of his excellent bow skills. But, you know, Alwyn does make a good point. Uh, you know, Kivan probably is a bit more susceptible at close range. And Kivan's lay on hands is like, you know, because it's almost instant, it is almost effectively like another six hit points or whatever it does. Two hit points per level of the caster, so that's actually, I think that's eight hit points, yeah. So, um, you know, uh, almost effectively, Agentis is on 45 hit points just with that. Um, a Kivan might not be gone for good, he's waiting around, and Alwyn left him on good terms. Kivan's a good sort, and I think Alwyn enjoyed having him around. He didn't let his own quest for vengeance impact on the rest of the group, and he didn't clash with Viconia, um, as much as I was expecting, or perhaps Alwyn was expecting, given that, you know, elves and drow aren't the best of friends uh, in the lore of this uh, realm. So, I think he sort of commanded respect, really, Kivan. Um, and... So... And, and look, I mean, Agentis isn't bad with the bow. I think his Thaco is only one point less than... Uh, Kivens, um, so you know that's that's rather good, uh, and Alwyn's rather pleased to have this armoured figure ahead of him in the battle line, and who can blame him really? Um, anyway, we've rested, memorised our range of spells, and sold the Chesley Crusher, uh, that two-handed uh, halberd. Bought some cheap genius potions from Galana Mirror Shade, so our gold isn't looking too bad, but it could could be higher. Uh, we've got 3,000 now. And the Genius Potions, by the way, put the 
intelligence up. So if we do get another set of spells, we'll be able to um, we'll be able to learn them. And we're ready. We're ready to go to Cloakwood. After all the talking about going to Cloakwood, we're actually going to go there now. So as you will join Alwyn as he travels the eight hours to the fair. Well, what I assume is the first area of Cloakwood, uh, unless this is it. Um. Okay. Well, it's woody. And what is that? Squirrel. Right, so it's one o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, and we're just confronted with, with trees here. And look, it's, it, my mouse isn't letting the party go through. It's completely impenetrable. So it's obviously quite a thick... Can we go through there? Ah, oh, we can come in here. So, we're just going to roll through, I think, without needing to stealth with Imowen. Um, just to begin with. Um, I'm not sure what to expect. I think... Yes, it really is thick, this woodland. A sort of mixed, deciduous uh, area. Um, but I thought... I mean, depending on how heavy this area gets, how early, I thought I would just... Uh, perhaps... Just kind of bring you up to speed on where... We are. Um, and what's happened, I guess. Chance for a bit of a catch-up. Um, and these episodes aren't exactly flying out. Uh, and the plot of this game is reasonably involved. Um, oh, hello, bears. Uh, right, let's just back up. Okay, too late. Oh, they just come right up to you, don't you? I don't know if they're sort of smelling our lunch or something. Right, that means attack everyone. My cut you down to size. Oh. Not a good start, people. Not a good start at all. Jantas took two solid hits there. Is he on 18 health? Yeah, God. Okay. <clears throat> Probably should have used some spells there. And the Jantus didn't exactly cover himself in glory. That was me saying about how he was a much better defender than uh, than our uh, Kiven. Anyway. So I'm going to give a bit of context to, to what's happened. And I'll Ooh, hello, house. I'll, I'll obviously be dipping in and out of this uh, potted history of Alwyn in the last 62 days. Um, okay. Palin. Balquo. <laughs> this way. Okay, we can actually go in this building. Hmm. <laughs> right. Let's go up to them. They look ready for a fight, don't they? So I think we'll get a Jantus protected from evil. Alwyn, you can cast your armor. Something troubling. If I'm right. With Helm's blessing. Yeah. Hello. I can't believe they killed Elden. Those 
bastards, they are going to pay. I really think that Duke Eltan should bring in part of the Flaming Fist and put down these wild men of the woods. Right. Hello. They may call themselves druids, but they're no better than wild animals. Hello. Okay. This way. So they're talking about some druids who are killing men. <laughs> I don't know who those guys are, but... Alveth... Sashen Star. Okay. As you will. He seems to have a glowing sword. <laughs> I'm gone. Let's get Imowen in shadows behind him before we talk. With Helms, bless you there. Identify yourselves. <laughs> what purpose have you wandering this far into Cloakwood? Are you looking to earn some money? If you are, I would be willing to pay a considerable amount for your assistance. I am Aldeth Sashenstar, a noble from the city of Baldur's Gate. Perhaps you have heard of me. No matter, I am looking for some good strong people who could defend me against a band of savages. These ruffians have been threatening my companions and me with bodily harm. Would you be interested? <laughs> um... It may be a opportunity to sort of test out some of our new skills, actually. Um, we're, we're interested. Good. Hey, right, looks like we've just agreed to it rather than just ask for more information. Good, I'm glad you had the sense of decency to help a man in my situation. Let me explain my predicament. My friends and I come here every year to do some sport hunting. This year, however, a group of woodland savages threatened us with bodily harm if we did not stop our hunting trip. Being civilised men, we realise that it's well within our rights to hunt where we damn well please. After a few more days of hunting, the crass woodman lost all pretense of humanity and murdered Elban, one of my oldest friends. I'm sure that they plan to attack our cottage here, so we had best be prepared. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, Alwyn's out front then. Great. I have no quarrel with those who respect my forest. Trespassers and butchers of our wood, I, Seniad, have, have come to administer the punishment that you have brought down upon yourselves. Yet, who are the ones that stand beside you? With them we have no quarrel. It is now to you that I speak. These men have most likely duped you into protecting their sorry hides. They have most likely not told of the druid they have slain in cold blood. I will allow you to rethink your earlier decision and leave these men to their most deserved fate. Interesting predicament here for Elwyn, by the looks of it. Do not listen to these slavering wild men, my dear friends. They lie, they lie as befits the uncultured barbarians that they are. And you consider yourself cultured, Iblith? Don't make me laugh. <laughs> nice one, Viconia. Sorry, Aldeth, but we're siding with the druids. They have this great aloe vera balm they are giving away samples of, and my armour has been chafing a bit, you know. Oh, God. That's not a very Alwyn response. Don't you think you're being rather harsh, Seniad? We can't just let you murder Aldeth. Come now. Why don't we come to a peaceful solution? I think... I think Alwyn would... I suppose at least number two doesn't necessarily take sides. You have made your choice for... Oh, right, okay, it does. Now you will suffer together with your hunter friends. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Uh, step out, Agentis. Again, you disturb me. Just got some random druids here. Uh, right. I'll then just I just run back a bit. Tries. Go, Agentis. Are we going to backstab with him, Owen? It's a bit fiddly. But we could do it. I'm gone. We've got some help. Uh, Edwin. Edwin, Edwin. See, we've got some, lots of new spells, but I think we're probably just going to go for the horror here.
glitter dust. What does that do again? All enemies be blinded. Yeah, we might try a glitter dust. What's the area of effect on that? 30 feet. Yeah, that should cover everyone. Laconia. Could silence, so they might have some spells. We'll try and drop one of the druids. Uh, Immelwyn. Right, come round. No. Immelwyn, come round. I've done had enough of this. Oh, we're minor drain him quickly. I think actually, Agentus, I'll get some nice arrows for you. Get some fire arrows on that druid rather quick. Okay, right. Okay, well, they're all horrid now. Draconia, uh, start taking that one out. Do it uninjured. Do it uninjured. Send out injured, okay. Well, let's see how far we can whittle them down. These guys aren't helping. One of them wandered off down here, I know that. Seni had experience is 4,000. My word. I'm pleased we interrupted his spell. God knows what he was going to bring out with a, as a 4,000 XP enemy. I do feel like we sided with the wrong people, though. Oh no, okay, stop. Just form up, everyone. Can you go out and confront him? Where's that druid? My blade will cut you down to size. <laughs> I am become the destroyer sure. of worlds. My goodness. Yeah. Well, I think that druid's gone, so. Right, we've got these little tasloi, which we have taken on before. They're not too hard. For sure. May darkness prevail. Okay. Let's just quick save that. Oh. Not stand no. <laughs> right. Okay.
With Helm's blessing. Wow. Okay, so one of the druids had an interesting ring on them. Do you know what it is, Alwyn? Druid's ring. Ring, ring of animal friendship. A druid order in Cormanthor is said to cautiously guard the secret to the construction of these rings, which have never been seen in the possession of anyone outside their immediate membership. How this particular ring escaped the protection of their forest is unknown, but there are rumours that an outcast could have brought it into exile with them. Charm animal. Area of effect one animal, duration two hours. Well, that's quite good, isn't it? <clears throat> Fifteen charges. There you go, Agentus. You can charm animals now. There you go. That's one thing that Kiven could do that you couldn't, but now you can. So There we go. Right. I do feel that perhaps Al... I don't know. Perhaps Alwyn should have sided with the uh, Druids, but I think he was trying to find a peaceful solution to it, and uh, well, it didn't work, did it? So... <laughs> Let's have a little detect evil, shall we? Just to see if we did definitely decide, side with the wrong people. No, they're not evil. They're just sort of. Uh, Helm, give me strength. Like a sort of a, a version of an upper class toff, really. Like a sort of. As you will. Learn some manners, brute. Those these monsters still live. Put an end to them. Oh right, there's still that druid going around, isn't there? As you will. He seems like a bit of an ass, that guy. So I'm a bit disappointed we uh, helped him. Let's go in his house anyway. Perhaps we'll just rob him. That might be a nice little way of... Uh... I'm gone. I didn't much like his manner, to be honest. <laughs> hey. Doesn't look like we can rob him. Actually, yeah. Anyone, do your book. Now try. Not happening, is it? Okay, never mind. By hell. With Helm's As you will. Right, we've got to find this other druid. How are we doing on the map? Okay. Well, the druid's definitely off in the southwest direction. He's probably lost his uh, horror now, so we'll just have to go a bit careful. So yes, I was going to reflect on uh, on the story so far. So day one, Alwyn's foster father, Gorion, says he's in danger and they need to leave Candlekeep quick, uh, thus setting off a horrendous chain of events for Alwyn, who just wanted to... Oh, okay, hang on, I think I've got a bit of an issue with the... Uh... Auto pause here. I briefly experimented, or I briefly thought, oh, let's have the enemy sighted thing off. Um, because I don't know why I thought that. I thought maybe we'd just sort of get um, slightly more interesting battles. Um, but actually, it's not a good idea. I think enemy sighted pausing is very useful. Um, Anyway, we've already really damaged this spider, so... Right. We might bring in some spell action this time. Glory of 
We did have a very, very... Uh, Alan had a very nasty experience, or specifically Zar had a very nasty experience with spiders right at the start of the game, where there were some spiders in a house in Beragos, which we now use to store our old crap. Um, so, Agentis, uh, uh Alwyn has got a rather uh, interesting relationship with spiders. I, I don't think he's too afraid of them, but certainly Zar is not a big fan at all. So he's he's well at the back there. Um, right, well that was quite successful. Anyway. So I'll just keep dipping back into my kind of potted history of the group, uh, if that's alright. What have you found now, Agentis? It's the druid. Helm, give me strength! I may need you for this. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Right, we can go back now. Yeah. So yeah, uh, uh, Alwyn just wanted to be in the Candlekeep Library, expanding his mind. I give you my gratitude for the aid you have given us. If you ever travel to Baldur's Gate, come to the Merchant's League Estate, and I will aid you in any way I can. Take now this small token of my appreciation. Hmm. Okay. And he's given us an item. A potion of heroism. Okay, well fine, that's not too bad. There you go, Agentis, you can keep that. Uh, yes. Alwyn just wanted to stay in the library. Absorbing, learning. All of those things. But he wasn't allowed to. Um. Sorry, pause a moment. Sorry, just lost a bit of recording there. So yes, uh, Alwyn, um, I guess with uh, Candlekeep, uh, I've taken, you won't have seen this, but I just took on a load of wolves um, and beat them uh, quite well. Uh, they didn't take one scrap of, uh, they didn't take any health from us. Uh, but I was talking about Candlekeep Library. Alwyn had to leave uh, for some That's characters uh, in this game. Um, you know, if you're playing Baldur's Gate yourself, you may see that as a great sort of coming of age moment, a great bit of uh, serendipity that liberates your player character from the monotony of uh, a cloistered life among crusty scholars. But for Alwyn, of course, um, a, a life cloistered among these crusty scholars was exactly his idea of heaven. So, um, you know, each to their own, I suppose. Um, so they leave within. The incessant noise. Such a pain behind the eyes. <laughs> Sorry, Zar, I'm just going you know, I'm just going back over the you know, storyline for the benefit of the of the viewers, you know, it's not uh you know I will keep it brief. Anyway, so they leave within an hour and I guess about twelve hours or so into the journey, Gorion, Alwyn's foster father, is slain by a mysterious, ominous looking character, clad in shadowy armour, uh, as they so often are. And the next morning, Alwyn is stranded. And... Alone. But his childhood friend, Imowen, shows up, sort of bounding up the path, uh, and reveals she has snuck, <coughs> snuck out of Candlekeep after reading a note of Gorion suggesting something was gravely wrong and they needed to get out, so uh, Imowen dutifully followed, uh, unbeknown to anyone. She joins Alwyn and so doing saves his life. Um, because Alwyn at that stage would have just curled up into a ball, quivering uh, to wait for a death brought by some gibbling old wolf or something like that. He had nothing left at that point. It was all too much. Uh, but we know previously Gorion had told Alwyn to uh, to meet Khalid and Jahira, um, his friends at the Friendly Arm, if... A grill on right, let's just uh, back up here. Okay. If they should ever meet uh, some some resistance or become separated. And of course they do. For the glory of Helm Um and so Imowin practically drags Alwyn along to 
you know, to this, uh, to the friendly arm. Um, and on the way, they meet uh, Zar and Monteron. I've done had and they obviously are a bit dodgy, um, but kind of out of a, uh, a sort of, you know, a sense of desperation and vulnerability, Alwyn does agree to them to join their party. Helm with um, Helm's blessing. Which sort of turned out to be something of a mistake and and not in a way. Um, right, I'm going to try... What is it now? Stinking Cloud. Hopefully this casts fairly quickly. Agentus, just back up. With Helm's Hooray! Ah. By hell. But I presume. With Helm's blessing. My honor is my life. Right, can you just stop there Helm. and just take him out? Give me strength! Without Yes, I think we Okay. Oh and we get a chromatic this orb. Course we take is beyond all tenets of and a grease spell. How we how wonderful. Okay. As you will. We've effectively blocked ourselves off there, but that's a good spell. The fact that it casts quickly is important because you need to get those off before they have a chance to close the distance, otherwise you'll be caught in the stinking cloud. Uh, anyway, they get to the... Alwyn's little party of four gets the friendly arm, and on the steps of the friendly arm, right up to the entrance of the inn, they're ambushed by some chap uh, who kind of says, I know who you are, and uh, I'm going to kill you. Uh, he doesn't, though, because Alwyn, I think from memory, cast did the uh, all-important uh, command on him, which kind of made him drop to the floor, and then then we could sort of finish him off. Um, but on this uh, assassin, whose name was Tarnesh, this course we take is beyond all tenets of decency. There was a note which said, which was basically a contract out on his life, which said. Kill Alwyn, here's some, and here's some money for killing Alwyn. And if you ever tell anyone what you're doing, then you'll be killed as well. All very ominous. Uh, and that doesn't do anything for Alwyn's uh, state of anxiety, let's say. Uh, but they get to the inn, meet with Khalid and Jahira, who say, sort of briefly say, well, we're sorry for your loss, and then say, yeah, we, we're going to go to some mines, and you're coming with us, you're going to take us to those mines. Um, because we then sort of learn of a little bit about uh, we pick up hints about the fact that there is an iron crisis affecting the region it's damaging people's tools um, there's a huge amount of bandit raids which is stopping suppliers getting through the iron that is being produced in Nashkel is crumbling it's uh, degraded, it's not lasting and so weapons break and that sort of thing and that actually is an in-game mechanic as well where weapons break so we haven't actually come across that often, but but we have. Um, we're just uh, continuing to explore this area. Can we get through there? Oh, no, it's the bears. We'll leave the bears. They're dangerous. Um, and, uh, yeah, Alwyn couldn't care less about the Iron Crisis, really. I mean, that's really the least of his uh, concerns, the kind of you know, as far as he's concerned, just surviving is uh, is problematic enough. Um, and he can't really function at the moment. So, Khalid and Jahira are supposed to be Alwyn's protectors, but Alwyn's just some sort of... And Alwyn is just some, some kind of, you know, library guy. Uh, and they tell him he needs to go down to these mines. Uh, which, obviously, you know, is one of the major causes of the Iron Crisis. And they sort of expect uh, Alwyn to go and sort of sort it out. Well... You know, it's a bit unrealistic and really just not appropriate for someone of his sort of level of maturity and experience. Um, just too... I don't know, he's a bit like your uncle. If you go around your uncle's house and he, you know, when you're 10 and he lets you watch Terminator 2 or something and you're just not quite ready for it, you know, and it's uh, it leaves a mark. Anyway, maybe that's just me. Um, but they travel south, go through Beragost. You know, this is just day two as well. They go to Beragost, or Beragost, if you're, uh, As you will. if you prefer. I know 
some of you will do. Um, and now, Dreadwolves, are they really bad? Not sure. Lives end here. Chase after him, Magentus. Shut him down. With Helms Helms. It's badly injured already, so. How when you soften up that one? Whoa! What you want? Who's he gone for? Edwin. Oh no, you don't. My honor is my place. For the glory of Helm. Still going for Edwin. Oh, going for Zar. How's he doing? Barely injured. Ah. There you go, 650 XP they are. So those three magic missiles now, you know, that's taken off 10 health, that's not too bad. Yeah. Ah, anyway. Where are we? Okay. So yeah, th then they get down to Nashkel. We're upon another bounty hunter. Oh no, in Beragos, Monteron picked a fight with that guy, this stupid... aggressive, pugilistic Monteron tried to... Uh, tried to fight some local chap who didn't like us being in his bar and... Uh, yeah, went, our reputation went down to something like five or something, or six. Which is not good. Not good at all for Arwen. He did not need that at all. Uh, and then when they get to Nashkel, there's another bounty hunter after them called Melia. And they find a note on her yet again, which... Uh... Oh, hello, Corrin. Oh. I think we'll just do the rest of the map first before we uh, explore what Corrin has to say. Yeah, so... There's another bounty hunter, which again, Alwyn's party um, defeats. And the note on her, you know, sure enough says that two more Dreadwolves. Okay, stop everyone. The note on her says that once what again, he's a target. Someone wants him dead. Zara, get down here wherever you are. Oh, you're there. Okay. As directed, for now. Oh, got a lot of health. Destroyer of worlds. Not you four. Let's get on the other one. Helm, give me strength. Valkyrs. Wow, 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 there we go, another thousand experience. We must be getting close to... Yeah, look at that. Agentis is going to level up in a minute. <laughs> That's rather good. Um, right. So they head to the mine. Doesn't go well, as predicted. Uh, and... What happens is, Monteron gets killed by Cobalt, I think on the kind of second level. Um, and it's at that point that Alwyn just thinks... Well, I suppose it's at that point that Alwyn actually makes his first decision since leaving Candlekeep. He's kind of been kind of just following uh, up to that point. What happens if we go off the map west here? Okay. 
Um, he's yeah, just kind of been yeah walking along, following him and following Khalid and Jahira. But he says no, we're getting out. We're getting out now. I cannot cope with being in this mine right now. And so they do. Uh, they go to the inn in Nashkel, and one gets drunk. Drunk enough to pluck up the courage to tell Jahira and Kali to kindly go away. Because uh, what they want to do is not working for Alwyn at all. Hello bears. Not working for him at all. This is a very dense woodland, isn't it? Um, and so, they go back to Nashkel. Alwyn, I suppose in one great, in one fairly decent act of uh, self-determination, gets rid of them, but then decides to sort Smiles, of... Smiles, everyone! Smile! This is like some great fantasy. Uh, then decides to go back to Candlekeep, which is a really kind of retrograde decision, but I suppose he just wanted to plead with them to let him, let him back in. Um, and it's a big moment for Alwyn to lose Khalid and Jahira because they're, they've, they've got some real power. They're both kind of fighter characters. And, you know, oh, Tasloy, honestly. Um, By hell, for the glory of hell! As you will. My honour is my own. For the glory of Helm! Well done, Agentis. We will take their 16 gold. There's going to be another 8 of them or so, isn't there? Yeah. Right, stop everyone. My blade will cut you down to size. Okay, one of them had a magic cloak. How about that? Oh, is that a quest item from someone in Beragost? Or Ghost? Yay, okay. Oh, and Agentis gets levelled up purely on Tasloy. That's excellent. Cloak. Oh, don't even know what it is. Excellent. Honestly, if there's a good cloak, there's no way that that guy's having it back. I can't remember his name now. Right. Can't save during combat. Okay, we are still in combat, aren't we? Go on, Viconia. Take him out. There we go. Go on, Viconia. Just mash him with your mace. Alright, well, fair enough. May darkness prevail. Cast not. Okay. Right. Quick save. Agentus has levelled up. That's really good. Jantis is going to be a level 5 fight, uh, paladin now. Let's see what we get. Okay. Some saving throws have been reduced by 2. Savior has breath weapon, weapon reduced by 3. That seems rather good. Thacko is reduced by 1. Lay on hands increased by 2. Additional hit points gain 10. Law increase 1. That's a good level up, isn't it? That's very good. Thacko reduction, saving throw reduction... Um, save it, you know, spells and that kind of thing. That's brilliant, really. Uh, save against poisons. That's a very timely level up and 10 extra hit points. Now we're just taking on Cloakwood. Seems like that's come at a very good time. So Agentis has got 47 hit points now. And yeah, so with the bow, his Thacko is down to 10, which I think was the same as Kivan, actually. So. That is good, and uh, we're in a good place, we really are. The way we took out that 4,000 XP enemy, um, Seniad, was rather impressive. I think the fact that we managed to block his spells was uh, was absolutely key there, but uh, yeah, we, uh, we did rather destroy him. Um, anyway. Um, we're just going to pause a second. 
Right, so where was I? Yes, so Alwyn went back to Candlekeep and a kindly Helm, give me strength. man said, sorry, you can't come in. He was at the gates of the uh, of Candlekeep. He As said, no, there's no Goodbye. way. Helm. Although he was a kindly sort and he sort of sent Alwyn on his way. I suppose he knows that there is no way back. He's kind of jolted into action a little bit. And the thought is, I suppose, I not stand by while this party descends into from Alwyn that uh, he needs to change or die, quite simply. Uh, he needs to take some action to actually survive. And he's just, just built up enough kind of courage to do that. So he goes back to the friendly arm. He, via the ambush site. Uh, and remember, this is just... Alwyn, Imowen and Zar at this point. All level one. So it's, you know, I think we fight a wolf then and it's... <laughs> we have to unload the entire spell book to kind of kill it. Uh, it's really that kind of uh, dodgy at that point. And... He actually goes back to the ambush site and... Uh, and, f and find a note to Gorion. Um from someone called E, who we subsequently take to be Elminster. And it, you know, seems that, yes, it was clear that the security of Candlekeep had been compromised and they need, needed to go at that point. So at least that kind of puts a little bit more context to it for Alwyn. Anyway, they get to a friendly arm. And Alwyn decides to sort of base himself there. They head out west. They find Viconia, who is being uh, persecuted by a Flaming Fist mercenary. Uh, this drops the party's reputation by another two, and I think it must be about four or five at this point. Um, sort of almost dangerously bad, the reputation. Uh, we're just carrying on through this wilderness, by the way. I don't think there's really anything to... Uh, much more to do. We know there's a guy called Corran on this bridge, or Coran. Um, but anyway. Don't know if there's anything more around this hunting lodge. Uh, probably not. Right, let's go and see Coran. Anyway, so they get Vaconia, so that they're, they're up to a party of four, and that does make them a fair bit stronger, really, a bit more resilient. Um, he goes to Beragost in the hunt for more party members. And finds Kagan, who has a quest. They head north on Kagan's quest and find a Jantis. So suddenly they're back up to six. Uh, in that map, incidentally, where a Jantis is, they have an awful time with Ankegs, where I think the Ankegs slaughter about three of the party, and Alwyn has to spend a small fortune uh, at that time bringing them back to life. But, uh, um, yeah. And it does actually give them quite a lot of experience, but uh, that was a pretty... Uh, hairy moment for the crew. Anyway, let's uh, let's pause from that for a moment and talk to Koran. Actually, let's just do a my little... My honour is my life. Well, he's not evil, so he might be a good a good sort. With oh, travellers, hold a moment. Sorry if I startled you, but I always approach strangers cautiously. I'm Koran, hunter and archer. Are any of you interested in making some money? If you are, I'm the person who could help you to do it. Hmm. Not, we're not really interested in making money, no. No time for that right now. No problem, though you are missing quite the little adventure. Ah, okay. Well. Helm, give me strength! A hunter and archer. Interesting. Maybe we'll mark that on the map. Can we do that? Coran. Coran. <laughs> Coran. There we go. If we ever need a hunter and archer mission, then we'll go back to him. Okay, quite a lot of spiders in this uh, region. Oh, yeah, okay, lots. Stop. Stop. 
Everyone, oh god. May darkness prevail. Again you disturb me. It shall be as you wish. Now Natha. Come on, have a nice hit to start off with, Agentis. That'll do. Uh, right. Hardly worth my time. Baconia loves killing spiders. I think I've said that before. Uh, right. Something troubling you? In fact, if, if uh, Zar takes out this back one, maybe it will kind of take some of the others with it. Whoa, yes, look at that. Big damage. Just be careful there, Agentis. You just stay there, please. As you will. Yeah, we're doing well against spiders so far. That's for sure. Yeah. Anywho. Yeah, so by about this is day fifteen now, there's a full party, but Alwyn starts going off. Kagan a bit. He seems a bit of a, uh, a sort of a bully almost, uh, and has a sort of, as Alwyn sees it, a rather distasteful obsession with money, which is something of a dwarf stereotype in in kind of uh, Dungeons and Dragons uh, setting. Um, anyway, yeah, he starts to sort of be a bit uh, bullish with the likes of uh, Zar and things, and, and Alwyn begins to think we need to get rid of him. And as they travel south, they go to Nashkel and they find Edwin, and uh, he w wants to go on a mission to kill a witch. Right, we're going to move to the next area of Cloakwood here. <clears throat> 16 hours it takes just to get here. So, yeah, okay. So we're right on the edge of some dodgy looking... <laughs> oh, we can just walk across here, okay. So there's a waterfall there. <coughs> okay. With Helms. And a person called Tiber. Okay. Again, a gentist, maybe just uh Okay, he's not evil. He just looks like a commoner, really, doesn't he? With Helms. Excuse me, please let me speak before you attack. Oh god. Hello, travellers. I'm Tiber. Could could I take up some of your time? I would be very grateful if you would just listen to... If you would just help me. Uh, what is it that troubles you, stranger? I think we'll be reasonably open to this. Thank you, thank you. It's my brother, you see. He and I went into the Cloakwood to clear the woods of the spider colony that infests it. I know it sounds foolish, but my brother had found the sword Spider's Bane. The sword was created to kill spiders. And we thought we could become famous, the heroes of Cloakwood and all that. But my brother hasn't returned yet, and it's been more than a week. Please, could you go into the woods and find him for me? My mother would be so would be so shattered if Chelak were to be dead. Chelak, okay. So we've gone into this wood. I mean, they don't. Ex he doesn't exactly look equipped for taking out spiders. Foolish indeed, says Viconia. The death of the weak is to be encouraged. This natural selection is what has made my people so superior. <laughs> well, Viconia, I wonder if uh, the advancement of society is kind of defined by how it treats its weakest uh, members. I don't know, maybe that's uh, not quite how the drow see things. Don't have the time or the inclination. <laughs> uh, we'll find your brother for you, don't worry. Oh, yes, Please search quickly. His name's Chalak. Yeah, he said that. Be careful. We will scan this appalling forest for signs of your brother, lad. By hell, Malwyn, if this Chalak re is really the inexperienced young man I imagine him to be, I don't think he had a chance. And I hope my words will be proven wrong, so let us go quickly. 
You knew Agentis would be well up for that one. Deary me. My honor is my life. What were they thinking? I mean, this as an air, as an area is pretty. You know, there's dread wolves, spiders. Oh, trap sprung. Okay, that's new. Uh, right, retreat, everyone. Just retreat back to Tiber. Oh God. Oh God. Clever girls. Right, Alwyn is the only one who isn't. Vaconia's alright. Get out of there, Vaconia, if you can. I shall attend to it in a trance. Um. This is a problem. You two, you've got to, you've got to move. Get out of this. Trap. Okay, I think they're out of it. Right, now... Right, we need to throw stuff at it. And quick. Okay, what can we do? Wand of Fear? That's not a bad option, potentially. Alwyn, you've got potions and stuff. I mean, what we can certainly do is give some plus two bullets for Alwyn. And Baconia, you can have some of your sexy bullets as well. That's going to help. I don't think Alwyn's got anything in his potion case. Potion of Freedom. That would be useful for the people who are stuck. Like a free action. Right. I don't think we've got... I mean, all the explosions potions are just going to harm our own guys. What we could possibly do is bring them down. Let's try and get a volley off first. Right, Baconia. Command. Okay, right, we're taking that spider out. Blimey, just traps in the wilderness like this. That's something to note. Night Singer, give me power. Go on, Alwyn. How's he doing for health? Badly injured. They're all still just completely stuck. Oh. Yes, go, Edwin. Right, flame arrow that one, now. Actually, Alwyn, you might be able to just finish that with a minor drain. Yes, that, he's gone. Fire Arrow only did 8 damage. That's not better than the uh, Magic Missile, is it? Oh yes, go. Can you get out of it? Oh, he's just got caught. Well done. Right, everyone, out of here. In your own time, that is.
I mean, that is new. I think. I must rest. Well, actually, resting would be a good idea at this stage. As you will. Be much more agreeable right, get your little skeleton. Yeah, this area is not to be taken lightly. Right, go on, Skelly. Right, some more spiders. Let's go. Give the skeleton some backup. You just be looking for traps there, everyone. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. Traps, everyone. Traps. What is it this time? Right. Oh, no, they're plus one bullets. No, thank you. Um. Yeah. Oh, okay. For the glory of hell. We're going to be resting soon. But uh, yes. In we win. Find traps, please. Blimey, well, we have got... With Helm's blessing. Yeah, I think we've got to rest, really. But these traps have really, have really spooked me now. You know, if we'd have uncovered four spiders and they'd have trapped us and we didn't have Alwyn and uh, Viconia, kind of... I'll move him and win up a bit. Helm with Helm's blessing. Kind of there to... Uh, provide some backup, we could have been in real trouble there. And I probably did right to retreat, but uh, there was no manner of retreating was going to uh, save us there. Um, interesting. And more than a little troubling for Alwyn, I think... Uh, when the Jantus referred to Cloakwood just then as a kind of, this is an evil, oh, what we got here, giant spider, okay. Referred to this as an evil place, I kind of thought, well, is it? Is it though? Isn't it just a wood yeah. that apparently some bandit people or some uh, members of this conspiracy have decided to hide out? But actually, we've got spiders setting traps and all sorts of things. Will. Right, go on, Skelly. My honor is my honor. Your worthless lives end here, as you will. Your worthless lives end here. <laughs> See, Viconia likes taking out spiders. Go on. That skeleton warrior, by the way, just hit for 13 damage. Rather impressive. Alwyn has levelled up. Excellent. Right, look for traps, Immerwin, because there's spiders. Get you out in front, skeleton. Okay, it was just one spider. Right. I'm going to leave it here, folks. I've given you a potted history of Alwyn up to the point of meeting Edwin, where, um, well, I'll just say that when we met Edwin, he wanted to kill the witch. We went off to kill the witch, although, of course, Alwyn wasn't really agreeing to that as such. He just wanted an excuse to, excuse to kick Kagan out of the party, which worked. Right, that's the end of that potted history. We'll carry on the potted history of uh, the second half of the potted history in the next part shall we but let's do Alwyn's level up before we go so we kind of know where we are so Alwyn will now be a level 5 cleric which is the same as Viconia plus he's got 
four levels of illusionist as well on, on top of that, so rather good. And he's also got more hit points in Vicania as well. But anyway, let's uh, let's do that now. So no proficiency slots. He gets a level three spell and one level two spell, three additional hit points. So that's okay, isn't it? That's okay. The fact that he's got level 3 spells now is really good. Oh, okay. He's got three level 3 spells. That is very good. And an extra level 2. Well, yeah, level 2's not been particularly useful. Um, I think we'll give an aid. Actually, maybe it... Because there's a lot of spiders around, maybe a slow poison wouldn't be a bad idea for now. Woohoohoo, level three. And three of them. I think I'll, I'm just going to do this quickly. I might change it in the next episode. But a dispel magic. Takes off spell defences of mages. I think that could be quite good. And it can dispel uh, effects like stinking cloud. So does Maru, Maru remove paralysis do the same? No, not really. Rigid thinking might be quite good. Although it's got a saving throw. Strength of 1. I really want this, actually. Gives everyone a strength score of 1875. That would really help Agantis. And some of the other people, to be honest. Unholy Blight. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. It hurts good characters. Holy Smite sounds good. 1d4 for every level, so up to... Yeah. I'll probably get a um, an Animate Dead. And a... Uh, unholy uh, holy Smite, I think. Two necromancy spells. There you go. Zar would be proud, wouldn't he? Anyway, that's really good, isn't it? Three level three spells. We can get two skeleton warriors now, which is superb. Uh, anyway, this has gone on long enough. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Cloakwood has well and truly been uh, ventured into. I feel like the first area was uh, very kind in a way. Uh, and now maybe it's starting to get a little bit more serious. Uh, particularly with these traps. So, um, yeah, until next time.